Hello guys, my name is Diego Pacheco and this is a Kotlin video. Um, today we will be talking a bit more about Kotlin and Maven. Um, by default, Kotlin is very popular with uh, Android and Gradle. And don't get me wrong, I like Gradle. I think Gradle is great. Um, but, you know, Maven is the most used tool uh, for building in Java. So uh, you don't see many examples on the internet how to make Kotlin work with Maven. And uh, I think this will be a good uh, standing ground. So if you want to experience uh, Kotlin and uh, Maven uh, together, all right? And also we're going to do that with IntelliJ and um, I'm going to show you uh, the, the Maven project working, the structure, all the configs I made and uh, both working on idea and in maven all right so let's get started so i have this project here um where i'm using kotlin 1.5 and i have the project working with maven so first of all let's start with some demo right so let's do some clean install that's often what you do with maven and in this way um you're gonna see that it compiles also run tests uh, it works very fine we could even, um, you know, uh, narrow down and just say, okay, let's just compile. Uh, there is incremental compilation going on. You can see here that not was uh, compiled, right? Um, and uh, also we can run tests. If we do Maven test, you're going to see there's a Kotlin test that kick in, right? And it, it's fully working. So so we understand like the configs and also see this on idea. Uh, let me uh, open idea here so I can show to you guys. Um, so, uh, here, um, in our pond.xml, there's a couple of things we need to do in order this to work, right? So I have a bunch of, um, properties here. I like to have the versions on the top. So then, you know, you kind of can ignore what's on the bottom. It's make easier to reason about the pawn, right? So I feel... This is a good practice. So here, I'm saying the, the target Java version I want to use. I actually um, running with, um, uh, in, in, in my environment, I have Java 15, but I'm compiling down to Java 8 and running as Java 8, right? So that's why you see this property here. And then you also see Maven compile and target, which is both versions of uh, Java. Um, the Kotlin version specifically in sense of libraries and dependencies is going to be 1421, but uh, for its, uh, all uh, its, uh, you know, in, uh, intents and purpose on the config, you're going to see 1.4, right? Uh, you're going to see why there's two slightly different uh, versions. Uh, then uh, JUnit here, we're going to use JUnit uh, 5.6 and uh, have some smile or other things like the the incremental compiler and the encoded being UTF-8, right? So then we need to configure the build and then we need to say that the source code is going to be an SRC main Kotlin and tests Kotlin, right? And then there's the Kotlin Maven plugin from JetBrains um, and then the version. As you can see, the, the version here is the 141, all right? And then here you say, okay, what's the JVM? So that's Java version 1.8. Uh, and what is the language and the API version of Kotlin that we should be compiling, both as you can see here, 1.4. So there is this uh, config um, in, in execution to compile and to test compile Kotlin, all right, that we are there. Then we have the Maven uh, jar plugin, it's pretty kind of a standard. Um, Surefire to run tests um, here, all right. And uh, as you can see here, we are adding dependence of uh, JUnit 5, all right, because we want to went to JUnit 5, and then dependencies. So there's a JUnit for test. Uh, we are adding the Kotlin standard library and also Kotlin test with uh, JUnit. So that are configs you need in your POM. Then um, here you can see I also have some main class and I have a, a simple test. Let's start with the test. So I did a very silly test, um, create a class. In, in Kotlin functions, you use the word fun, so it's fun to code in, in Kotlin. And uh, void, you type unit, just like Scala. So here um, I, I have a, a very silly example testing a sun, uh, basically one plus one equals two, right? And um, 
I'm calling the JUnit API to do some assert equals here to see the two is expected to be uh, the result of one plus one. And uh, in Kotlin, as you can see, there's no uh, need to do this like we do in Java all the time. And even when you do it, you can see here that idea highlights to gray, right? Then we can run if we click it here. I already run on the console, but I'm running here so you can see it also works this way pretty uh, fine and pretty nice. Um, yes, it's working now. And um, uh, let me show you the main. I have it here as well. I have some cool things here in regards of uh, Kotlin, right? Like, for instance, like um, work with lists. You can do a list off, like in Scala, have list. Um, and then you can add some numbers and then you have a list you have map off that you can build a map you, you have your key then you use the word to and then the value so I have a map here I'm showing like filter in action like some sort of a functional programming uh, this is like it reminds me groovy because groovy has it as well right so uh, the current uh, number that's being looped here uh, you're gonna be assigned it to it uh, so first time it will be one, then two, then three, then six. There's group by, which is pretty cool, all right? Um, and then I'm, I'm have a rule here. Um, uh, then partition, which is something really nice. Uh, that's unknown the language. Um, so we are kind of uh, splitting into different groups. Um, by some rule, so partitioning group by is really similar uh, then we have sort by zip which we get one element of it um, list and then we combine them like one with one two with two three with three and uh, finally uh, inflix which is a pretty cool uh, thing you can do because you can um, like you see here I have an object right a multiple list and then I can do plus equals right or um, minus equals and that works this will add this element and this will remove this element so this is uh, something pretty cool and then here I can do some sort of a more like uh, um, you know streams in Java 8 uh, then I can have a list of uh, uh, you know uh, pairs like uh, and uh, then we can filter when the first one is not a boss and um, the, we want to have the max by the second and then we're gonna get the first result otherwise you don't have employees and throw an exception so that's the Kotlin code uh, that we have in your main and I can run it you can see that works so Kotlin is a pretty cool language if you are working on the JVM as you guys know I am a Scala author I really like Scala right but uh, Kotlin is cool as well so you're gonna see more videos about Kotlin. And I also, I am um, playing with the audio, trying to get the best uh, spot, the best press set and the best positioning so I can move and still, uh, you can see me and the audio is still clear, all right? So um, I know that someone was complaining some background noise, but sorry, it's, I'm in Brazil, it's summer, right? Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty hot here. I'm not turning off my AC, right? That's not on the business, but um, I'm trying to improve the audio to, to get the best uh, possible for you guys. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys like it. See you next time. Bye. Cheers.